Ah, welcome back to Ron's Garage. Uh, this is different. I don't normally start with me in the frames, but uh, today's just a, a weird day. Uh, gonna be a little vent today. Uh, so we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, my wife and I just got back from uh, 10 days in Florida. Uh, it was pretty awesome. Uh, you know, we had a really, really good time. Uh, until on the way home, which is what my vet is about, which I'll get to in just a second. Uh, while we were away, uh, some parts came in for me. Uh, my oil pan uh, came in, and it's right there, and I painted it yesterday. Uh, so it's ready to go on. The new dipstick came in. Oil pan gasket came in. Uh, so... I'm ready to put all that stuff back together. I just got to clean up the starter a little bit. It's a little oily. I think the other pan was leaking pretty bad. Uh, but I didn't notice it because this thing's been sitting here for almost two years without running. So uh, so it's probably good that we're changing the pan and the gasket anyway. The pan's beat up all the, all the crap. Uh, so, but, you know, it's Sunday. Uh, I would say it's a nice day, but it's not. Uh, let me spin you around here. I don't know how much you can see. This is, uh, I am at my rented garage. This is not my property, but uh, uh, this is Tropical Storm Henri. <laughs> so we're getting pretty much nothing from it, just an occasional little gust and a uh, little bit of rain. But, uh, you know, it's still pretty far east of here. Came in around Rhode Island this morning and it might work its way close to here. I'm in like central Connecticut, a little, little west of central. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, we'll see what that brings. Probably not much, which is a bonus for me because uh, my, uh, my job is, you know, uh, weather can play a big part in it. So anyway, on to the vent. Uh, we have a Nissan Sentra 2014, nice little car. Uh, but I will never buy another Nissan. Uh, I think I'll make that the title of this video. Ever, never will I buy another Nissan. I'm not telling you to or not to. I'm just telling what I uh, will not do. Uh, and here's why. Car ran great going down to Florida. Ran great while we were in Florida. Uh, on the way home, uh, we left Orlando uh, early in the morning got to around St. Augustine and the car went nuts. Uh, we first noticed the door locks clicking up and down, up and down, up and down. Then the windshield wipers came on and wouldn't turn off. Then uh, the headlights were on because it had been dark uh, and with the headlights on, the right turn signal was on. So you turn on the left turn signal, they both were on, like the emergency flashers. Turn on the emergency flashers, they just sit there and on without flashing. Uh, and the car started losing power sometimes. You know, it would just be like, uh, like it was starving for fuel. Uh, so, you know, we have us a little electrical problem. So we pulled off the highway. I was driving, I pulled off the highway. Uh, into a little convenience store gas station kind of thing and I'm looking around under the hood and I can't see anything uh, Of course uh, Everything looks fine so I got on the old Google machine and Started looking for mobile mechanics. I just wanted somebody to come out and you know uh, Plug their scan tool into it. See what it said Well mobile mechanics in st. Augustine, Florida are not really mobile uh, they're mobile in that, yep, we can tow it over here for you. Uh, that's not what I was looking for. Uh, so uh, I looked at regular garages. Uh, we found a guy who was willing to look at it then. Uh, so we limped it over to him. Uh, and I wish I could remember the guy's name. I, we've got the card, his card in the car somewhere. I will remember his name and uh, I will post it on here, his little garage. Uh, honest mechanic uh, I think uh, so he looked at it he plugged his scan tool into it 
uh, and he couldn't see anything. Uh, come to find out, there is a module or two, I don't know for sure how, how many other things, but there are some things on a Nissan that Nissan will not allow anybody to look at except their dealerships. Now this car is ours, we own it. Uh, and they're, you know, he's telling me, he said, no scan tool. I mean, he's got like, a, a, I don't know how much they cost, you know, the snap-on high-end scan tools, and he can't see it. Uh, he can see the ECM, he can see the ABS, all that stuff, but he can't see into what's called an IPDM. IPDM. Uh, I think it stands for Intelligent Power Distribution Module. Uh, it's so intelligent, it won't let you look in its brain. So he says, I think that's the problem because that's where all those things feed through. Uh, but I can't tell you for sure. And I don't have one anyway. Uh, he said, you're going to have to go to the Nissan dealer. So we did. We went to the Nissan dealer. In all fairness, they did take it in. I, no, this is not about the dealership. Uh, they took it in. They looked at it, they said, yep, it's the IPDM, but we don't have one either. Uh, the, the first chance we have to get one will be tomorrow morning. So we had to spend the night in St. Augustine Beach, which was not necessarily a bad thing. It was really nice there. We both had a good time, got some good food, walked on the beach. Uh, and the next day the car was fixed uh, to the tune of $1,100. Now, while we were in the motel room, I took a look and IPDMs on eBay were 50 bucks, on Amazon were 100 bucks, uh, at various other places, you know, I didn't find one that was more than $300. Nissan charged me almost $800 for theirs. Uh, plus, you know, four or 500 to put it in. <laughs> to put it in, to unbolt it and plug it in and put and bolt it in. So, you know, that, that's just, it's just crazy to me. Uh, before we buy another new car, uh, I will be doing some checking uh, to find out if there's any proprietary uh, parts on the car that they won't let just a regular mechanic look at because, you know, I like to fix my own stuff. And if I had been home, uh, I probably could have. And I probably would have bought uh, one of the cheaper IPDMs and put it on to see. Uh, but I wasn't. I did, we didn't even have a screwdriver uh, in the car with us. So there's not a whole lot I could have done anyway. I was kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. So, but they changed it and we got home just fine. Uh, so also the Nissan dealer couldn't tell me why it went bad in the first place uh, now we did notice that the uh, air conditioner drain plug I, I think was clogged and the drain was clogged because we were getting some moisture dripping out from under the dashboard and that's where all that stuff is the wiper switch, the headlight switch, the turn signal switch that's all up in there uh, so particularly on the column. But they said, no, nope, couldn't, that could not have caused it. So we went from St. Augustine Beach to home, uh, basically without the air conditioning. Uh, because we didn't want to, I did I, you know, my wife asked me, could that really cause it? And I, and I did not know because I, you just don't know what's under the dashboard of these things. So anyway, uh, I'm co coming up on 10 minutes here. That's enough of a vent, I think. But, yeah, I will never buy another Nissan. Um, again, this is not to convince you to or not. This is only me venting about the one we have. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, I'm going to clean up my garage a little bit. It's a total disaster right now. Because I just left it, you know, the way it was. Uh, you know, parts laying all over the place, tools laying all over the place, so trash laying all over the place. Uh, also, working on that, 
I tried to get that running for Henri. Um, it's a uh, 5,500 watt generator. Uh, I think I'm going to change the carburetor on it. Uh, it could also be bad gas. Uh, I put some gas in it that it's been sitting in a can that's questionable. Um, as to how long it's been there, I don't know. So I'm draining the gas out now, and I'll put some new gas in it. Uh, but the, the the fuel float valve is also leaking by uh, because you can tell because it drips out of the carburetor when you turn the gas on. When the when the bowl fills up, gas comes out. So the valve's leaking, and I did clean it. I did take the bowl off and clean it yesterday, but uh, it made no difference. So. I'll either rebuild this one or buy a new one. I know they're cheap uh, and stick on here. Uh, turns out we didn't need it after all. This is this storm's going to turn into not much at all. Uh, so, but I want to have it ready should we need it. You know, for another storm or in the winter time when we get snowstorms and stuff like that. So, anyway, uh, that's it for me. I'm going to go. Uh, clean up the garage a little bit and then I'll post this later on then I got some a lot of videos to catch up on so uh, if you're watching this and you post videos I'll catch up to you I promise so anyway uh, from rainy Connecticut uh, this is Ron's garage and I'll talk to you later bye